So far in this section, we've been taking a look at how we can use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP to look up information in a table. And I did mention in the very first lesson that VLOOKUP, whilst popular, does have its limitations. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this lesson. We're going to explore the limitations of VLOOKUP and I'm going to show you how you can combine two formulas together to perform a more flexible lookup. Now, once again, we're starting with some very basic data. I have some categories. I have some apps that belong to those categories. And we have the amount of revenue that this app has generated and also the profit. So these might be mobile apps. And what I want to do is I want to be able to select an app from the list over here and have it return the category, the profit and the revenue. So let's set up our data validation drop down list. First of all, I'm going to go to the data tab, click the drop down data validation. We want a list just here and the source for our list. Well, we want all of the apps. So let's select this range and click on OK. And now we can choose which app we're interested in from the menu. Now let's first try and do this lookup using VLOOKUP because that's really going to highlight to you the limitations. So let's type in equals VLOOKUP. A lookup value Well, we're looking up the app in cell H5. I'm going to press F4 to lock that in place. Comma, table array. Where are we looking up this app? Well, we're looking it up in this table over here. Again, I'm going to press F4 to lock that in place. Comma, column index number. Now I want to return the category and the category is in column number one. So let's type in one. Am I doing exact or approximate matching? Well, I want to exactly match the application name in the table. So we're doing an exact match. We want a false or a zero on the end just here. Now let's hit enter. Hmm, I'm getting an NA error. So why is that? Well, this is related to this argument here, the column index number. When you're using VLOOKUP, it can only return values that are to the right of the lookup value. So my lookup value in this case is bejeweled and bejeweled is effectively in the second column. So if I wanted to return the revenue or the profit, that would work absolutely fine because these two columns are to the right of where the lookup value exists. But because in this case, I want to return the category, which is to the left of it, it can't do it. And that is the limitation of VLOOKUP. You can't have a lookup value in the table and return values that are to the left. Everything always has to be to the right. So VLOOKUP tends to work best when your lookup value is in the first column of your table. Now, because of this limitation, we need to explore an alternative method when it comes to performing more flexible lookups. And to do this, we can combine two functions in Excel, index and match. So let's first take a look at what these two functions do individually, and then I'll show you why they're so powerful when you combine them together. So let's start out with index. If we type in equals index, notice here that we have a few different arguments. Now there are two different versions of index. We're using the top one just here. Now my array, the way that I remember this is the array is always the range of cells where you're going to find your answer. Now we're looking for the category. So I'm going to select the category array, comma. Now the next argument is the row number. I need to tell it the row number to return. So if I'm looking up bejeweled, I can see that that is one, two, three. That's the fourth one in the list. So I want it to return row number four. Close the bracket, hit enter, and it returns the correct category for the app bejeweled. But this is a very manual process. I don't want to be counting down rows in order to get my answer. I have a very small data set here, so it's not too much of a problem. But imagine if you had a data set with thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows. That's just not going to be plausible. So with that in mind, let's take a look at what the match function does on its own. So if we type in match, this function has three arguments. The first one is lookup value. So we're looking up the app. The next argument is lookup array. So where are we going to find this app? Well, we're going to find it in the app array. And then we need to specify the match type that we're doing. Now I want to exactly match the app name in the selected range. So I'm going to put zero in here, 
close the bracket, hit enter, check out what it returns. It returns the row number. So we can basically combine this match with index to automate our lookup. So let's go from the top. We're going to type in index. Our array is where we're going to find our answer, which is this category array. When we get to the row number argument, we're going to go straight into our match. Our lookup value is bejeweled. I'm going to press F4 to lock that in place. Where are we going to find that? Well, we're going to find it in the apps list. And then I'm doing an exact match. And I think I'm going to lock these cell references as well. So let's just go back and press F4 to lock all of these because we don't really want anything to move around. Close the bracket for match and close the bracket for index. Hit enter. We get the result that we're looking for. Let's do it again, but this time we're going to find the profit. So we're going to type in index. Array is where our answer is going to be. So this time we want to select the profit array. Let's press F4. We go straight into our match. Our lookup value is bejeweled. Where are we going to find it? We're going to find it in our apps list. And we want to do an exact match. Close off match, close off index, hit enter, and we get our answer. And I'm just going to apply some accounting format. Let's do the final one. Hopefully you're getting the idea here. Index. Where is our answer? Well, this time we're going to find it in the revenue array. F4 to lock. Straight into match. We're looking up bejeweled. We're looking it up in the apps list. And we're doing an exact match. Close off match, close off index, hit enter, and we get the correct result. So if we take a look at this row for Bejeweled, I can see that it's in the game category. The revenue is 18,750 and the profit is 984.90. And if I change this to something else, we should find that everything updates perfectly. So now we're looking at the record for OneDrive. So index and match combined together are a much more flexible way of doing lookups because it doesn't matter where your lookup value exists in relation to the columns that you want to return. So bear this in mind if you're trying to use VLOOKUP and having problems. It might be that you just need to switch to index and match. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.